Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C square. In this example we have two lines, line M and in fact we have one line given which is given by this equation and we need to find the equation of line N that is perpendicular to M. So yeah, we need to find the equation of a line that is perpendicular to a given line that goes through this point. And how are we going to do that? We're going to use this theorem you see here, which says two lines are perpendicular if and only if they have negative reciprocal slope. So we're going to need to work with the slope of a line. Okay, so we're going to take line M, which is given, and y equals negative 3x plus 1. And we're going to need to find the slope of this line, and that is, I think, one of the simplest tasks in this problem. If you remember the slope in terms of form, y equals mx plus b. And this is the slope. So in our case, the slope is going to be nothing else than, than negative 3, the number in front of the x. Right? So now we're going to use this negative 3 to get the slope of line n. How are we going to get the slope of, nine, of line n? You're going to take that negative 3, you're going to flip it, reciprocal, right? Because that's the thing here, reciprocal. And you get negative 1 over 3. And don't forget this negative, that means switch the sign. Positive 1 third. Of course, there is an algebraic way to do it. Think about uh, what you, sh you should multiply m1, which is negative 3 by to get negative 1. But this is a very good way that I like and I use it. So now we know the slope of line n, which I'm going to call it m2, and we know the point negative 6 and 1. And now we can find the equation of line n uh, using either the slope intercept form, this one, or the point slope form, which I'm going to use it here y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So this is called the point slope form. Very useful. So this one, this this uh, form tells us if you know a point and the slope, you can find the equation of that line. And we do know, right? Look at here. The point is negative 6 and 1. So x1 is negative 6 and y sub 1 is 1. So we're going to have y minus 1 equal m, which is 1 third, x minus x1, x minus 6. Okay, so now I'm going to just do some simplification. And in this case, I'm going to uh, have these two double negative becomes a positive. And now it's up to you what whatever we, we're going to discuss about form, but let's let's get first the slope intercept form. Uh, if you want the slope intercept form, then you need to use the distributive property. And you have y minus 1 equals 1 over 3x plus 1 over 3 times 6. Right? And how much is 1 over 3 times 6? That is nothing else than 2. And we have one more step. We're going to add 1 to cancel the negative 1. And we have what is called this this one, I'm sorry. What is called a slope intercept form of this equation. Okay. Which sometimes is good enough. Sometimes you're going to need the standard form. And I will show you that in a minute. But first of all, I want you to take a look to a graphical approach. Okay, so this is line n. Let me finish that. This is line n in the slope intercept form. And this is a graphical approach. Okay, so um, this was line m. And this is the line n, the one we found out, right? In case you need the standard form, You may want to multiply by 3, both sides, to cancel out these 3. So we have here 3y equals 1 over 3 times 3 is 1x plus 9. One more step, subtract x, I guess. 
and we have what is called the standard form negative x plus 3y equals 9. Be careful sometimes some people like the standard form of a positive x then you have to have x minus 3y equals negative 9. So you see you have three possible answers here. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, if you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.